Google has launched a new AI tool called Mariner, powered by something called Gemini 2.0. This tool is not just for chatting, it's designed to help people use websites and do tasks online. However, it lets the users decide the final results, which keeps them in control. Mariner is still being tested, but its goal is to change the way we use the internet. Gemini 2.0, the brain behind Mariner, is very smart. It learns from a huge amount of text, pictures, and sounds, not just memorizing them, but really understanding them to act like a human. This means Mariner can navigate complex websites, click buttons, fill out forms, and even manage tasks like filling a virtual shopping cart with groceries. It handles the heavy lifting while letting you decide what actually gets purchased. This is where Google's ambition to create a universal assistant becomes clear. Gemini 2.0 brings impressive capabilities to the table. It combines multimodal understanding, essentially the ability to interpret and reason across various types of data on a browser screen, from pixels to text to interactive elements with advanced reasoning. Mariner isn't just guessing its way through tasks, it methodically breaks down complex instructions into smaller actionable steps and provides helpful feedback along the way, ensuring a smoother online experience. For example, if Mariner isn't sure what to do, it doesn't just guess. Instead, it stops and asks for more details, making the whole process clear and under control. This careful approach has proven effective as shown by its test results. Mariner scored 84% in understanding different types of data on screens, and an impressive 90.5% in complex web tasks in a test called the Web Voyager Benchmark. These tests were not just on paper, they included real and up-to-date challenges. Human experts checked the results, making sure Mariner worked well in practical situations. Despite these successes, Mariner is still being tested and isn't perfect. Google's project manager, Jaween Konolman, mentioned that it doesn't always get things right, a common issue in many new AI systems. However, its ability to think through tasks and ask for help when needed is a big step forward. It shows promise for getting even better as it continues to develop. Google is working on more than just Mariner. It's part of a bigger effort to make AI a bigger part of our daily digital tools like the Gemini chatbot and new AI features in Google search, making these tools smarter and easier to use. The launch of Mariner marks another big step for Google in AI, adding to their achievements like the Willow quantum chip. Recently, Willow has been in the spotlight for its potential to enhance blockchain security, especially for Bitcoin. Both projects show Google's commitment to staying at the forefront of AI and technology, but they also face big challenges. For example, the US Justice Department is considering whether to separate Chrome from Google because of antitrust issues. This could disrupt Mariner's development as it relies heavily on integrating smoothly with Chrome. This situation illustrates the ongoing struggle between pushing tech forward and dealing with government regulations, a challenge not just for Google, but for all major tech companies. Mariner's journey is part of a wider race in AI technology, where companies like OpenAI and Anthropic are also developing tools that autonomously interact with digital platforms. The AI field is evolving fast, introducing new capabilities and ideas often. Tech industry expert Sagar points out that many AI systems are still not reaching their full potential, but he believes major advancements and innovations are just on the horizon making it an exciting era for AI technology. Along with Mariner, Google is developing Project Astra, a new AI tool designed for smartphones. Astra is built to understand images, text, and voice commands, deepening Google's commitment to integrating AI into everyday technology use. Though Astra isn't available to the public yet, it's a clear sign of how Google is shaping the future of how we interact with devices. The rise of these AI tools is stirring interest beyond just tech enthusiasts. Investors are increasingly looking at AI, especially in cryptocurrencies linked to AI projects. Influencers like Hez have pointed out several crypto tokens, including Zara, Tony, and Hack, which they believe are currently undervalued. But 
As with any new investment area, it's crucial for potential investors to proceed with caution and conduct detailed research before diving in. This emerging market holds promise, but also bears the typical risks associated with new technologies and investments. OpenAI defends its use of data by citing fair use protections, arguing that their models transform content instead of merely replicating it, positioning them in a legal gray area. Despite implementing filters to reduce intellectual property disputes, the absence of a completed media manager leaves significant questions about compliance and creator compensation unresolved. The challenges with Media Manager highlight broader legal and ethical issues OpenAI faces as technology rapidly evolves beyond existing legal frameworks. Amidst these legal concerns, OpenAI is also addressing increasing security vulnerabilities. A significant concern in AI safety is the manipulation of language models known as jailbreaking. Researchers at Palo Alto Network's Unit 42 have identified a novel attack method termed the Bad Liar Judge attack, which has raised alarms due to its 60% success rate in circumventing AI safety measures. This technique does not directly ask the AI for harmful content. Instead, it cleverly instructs the AI to act as a judge rating responses on a liar scale, commonly used in surveys to assess agreement levels. By framing harmful prompts as part of an evaluative task, attackers can deceive the AI into producing unsafe or inappropriate content. The researchers explained that once the AI grasps the evaluation task and scoring, manipulating it becomes significantly easier. This discovery underscores the ongoing battle between enhancing AI capabilities and safeguarding against their misuse, illustrating the complex interplay of advancing technology and the need for robust security measures. OpenAI justifies its practices by citing fair use protections, asserting that its models do not merely replicate but transform content, which places them in a contentious legal area. The absence of a completed product like Media Manager leaves unresolved issues about compliance and compensation, highlighting the ongoing struggle to align legal frameworks with rapid technological advances. This uncertainty about Media Manager represents just one of several challenges OpenAI faces, compounded by increasing security concerns, as cybersecurity researchers focus on jailbreaking large language models, LLMs. One significant threat identified by Palo Alto Network's Unit 42 is the Bad Liar Judge attack. This technique enhances the likelihood of circumventing built-in safety measures by more than 60%. It involves a more indirect approach where the model is asked to function as a judge, rating responses based on a Likert scale often used in surveys. This method cleverly masks malicious prompts as part of an assessment task, duping the LLM into producing inappropriate or dangerous content. Once the model grasps the nature of the task and its scoring mechanism, manipulating it becomes considerably simpler. These developments emphasize the need for robust safety protocols and demonstrate how advanced security threats are evolving to exploit vulnerabilities in AI technologies. This ongoing issue stresses the importance of continual updates and innovations in both legal and security frameworks to keep pace with the advancing capabilities of AI systems. Large language models, LLMs, like those developed by OpenAI, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft are susceptible to sophisticated attacks that manipulate their response mechanisms. One such method, the Bad Liar Judge attack, significantly increases the likelihood of bypassing safety measures by over 60%. This technique involves prompting the LLM to judge responses based on a scale used in surveys, subtly leading it to produce dangerous outputs such as information on malware creation, explicit content, or illegal activities. Further complicating security are techniques like persona persuasion and token smuggling. Persona persuasion tricks the LLM into adopting a specific character role, potentially leading to biased or harmful outputs. Token smuggling involves encoded inputs that bypass the model's safety filters, directly challenging the robustness of built-in protections. Despite these potential threats, 
Researchers note that such vulnerabilities typically represent edge cases rather than flaws in regular usage. Most AI models operate safely under responsible use. However, the existence of these vulnerabilities underscores the need for enhanced safety measures. Palo Alto Networks suggests that implementing content filtering systems in conjunction with LLMs can significantly mitigate these risks. In their studies, adding content filters alongside the models reduce the success rates of these jailbreak attempts by an average of 89.2%, demonstrating the effectiveness of layered defenses. This approach is crucial for maintaining the safety and integrity of AI applications as they become more advanced and pervasive in various industries. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all our latest content. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.